Thank you for listening to my presentation. I will try really hard to keep you awake, but no promises. Our project is called Acting It Out, a classroom activity to improve knowledge and visualization of space management principles. Basically, we had students act like teeth to better explain what happens if a baby tooth is lost early. To answer the first question, I'll provide a little background. The first two years of dental school primarily focus on the care of adults and the permanent dentition. Students are first introduced to pediatric dentistry in the fall of their second year. In this module, students often struggle to understand the impact of early loss of baby teeth, usually from cavities, and the significant implications of maintaining that space that is now left when the baby tooth is extracted. A few years ago, my co-faculty and I noticed the glazing over of the eyes during this part of the lecture, so we grabbed some students and had them act like a tooth, and then we would remove a tooth, or the student, from the arch, and then move them around to demonstrate what would happen. It worked so well that the next year we cut out teeth models from poster board and had the students hold them. In this past year, we took it a step further and fabricated 12 teeth from foam board and had students hold the teeth and act out different scenarios with and without space management intervention. We conducted a research project to gauge their learning gains and their feelings about the activity. The top picture shows students holding the teeth, demonstrating a dental arch. We went through five scenarios, but this is just showing one of them. So in picture B, the red arrow shows the permanent molar tipping forward towards the front of the mouth. When the blue arrow, that student, steps backwards out of the dental arch as if she were extracted. Picture C shows maintaining the space with a distal shoe, shown by the red arrow, which is an appliance that keeps the adjacent teeth from shifting. As far as who was impacted, there are 78 students in the second year dental school class and 64 students participated in the study that we did to assess their learning and satisfaction associated with the activity. This intervention represented an opportunity to apply evidence-based teaching practices to help address a learning challenge, which would hopefully support transfer of knowledge. We hope that students enter their clinical training with better appreciation and retention of this material. Total scores on the multiple choice knowledge questions were statistically higher on the post-test compared to the pre. In particular, the largest learning gains were seen for questions that asked about space management decisions. In addition to gaining knowledge through this activity, students' confidence also increased. Statistically significant differences were seen in the responses between the pre- and post-test questions that asked about their abilities to effectively explain space management and its importance and their confidence in making space management decisions. Responses from the open-ended questions indicated that they were most frequently surprised about the demonstration. 10 students said, I didn't think the class demonstration would be so helpful, but it really was. Nine responses indicated that students were surprised by their own lack of prior exposure to pediatric dentistry. And eight students mentioned that they were surprised about the complexity of space maintenance and deciduous teeth and its consequences if not maintained. Here we can see a table of the responses from the first two questions of the questionnaire. The majority of students reported that the active demonstration was one of the most engaging parts of class. Engagement is a complex variable and crucial for effective learning. Cognitive theories suggest that students need to be attentive to move information into short-term memory. Engaging and enjoyable activities, hopefully like this demonstration, have been shown to help transfer information into long-term memory, thereby enhancing learning. The results and positive feedback highlight the benefits of a student-centered learning environment in fostering community, inclusion, and empowerment, elements that are crucial for learning gains. This activity aligns with ATSU's core professional attributes by enhancing cultural proficiency and critical thinking, while also promoting teamwork, a key aspect of interpersonal skills. This was relatively easy to implement, and we have since brainstormed other scenarios where active learning can help explain challenging dental concepts. The cost for this was very minimal. I purchased the foam board for $20, and my amazing woodworking co-faculty downloaded a template for each tooth and cut them out using a computer-controlled router. This activity is a low-resource, easy-to-implement technique that can be customized for use as a demonstration on other topics across health sciences. I would like to thank the TLC for the support they have offered me and pushing me to expand and improve my teaching skills, and thanks for listening.